Hey, so a funny thing happened this week and I thought I would make a video about it. I found myself playing this little accordion very frequently in ways that I never played before. And it made me think about the size of an instrument and what we're likely to do with it. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of an analogy. I love taking photos. I've owned cameras before um, and I consider myself a pretty good photo taker. But there's a famous saying and that is that the best camera is the one that you have on you. I'm paraphrasing. But the camera that I use most frequently is the one that sits in my pocket all day and it's my cell phone. I take thousands of photos a year compared to just a few uh, when I do remember to carry my camera. And I know that there are a lot of similar analogies with other aspects of life. Um, and I find the same with the accordion. I find that it's so easy for me to just put this somewhere. It was sitting right here on my bench all week. Uh, I took it downstairs and it was sitting next to the living room. And I find myself just picking up the accordion because it's so easy to keep nearby. Just like this is a camera that's easy to keep in my pocket. And this is the camera that I'm going to be using most frequently because of that. I find that there is a time and a use for me to take my big, beautiful camera. When I want to be a photographer, I'll take my big camera. But that changes the nature of who I am. That means that I am a photographer. If I'm going on a walk with Kate and the kids and I bring my big camera, I'm trailing, I'm behind them taking photos. I'm off in the distance trying to get the perfect shot. Versus this one, where I'll take a selfie with Kate and the kids or I'll capture a nice little thing, but I'm involved in the activity. I think it's the same with this instrument. If we're gonna go camping this summer, I'd much rather take this in the car with me than the big 120 bass accordion. If I'm going to the neighbors for a party, this is all supposing uh, restrictions get uh, taken down, hopefully by the end of the summer. Um, I'm gonna be taking this accordion just because it's super light. This little carrying case for it, really small, really easy, really unobtrusive. Um, versus taking a big rolling case with me to the neighbors. I'm probably going to take this little accordion. And so, again, there's a time and a place for a big triple musette, 120 bass with a tone chamber accordion. That's a different instrument, almost with a different purpose than this little guy, which brings me as much joy as that other big instrument, just like this brings me similar joy to my beautiful Leica M8 or an M9. Um, but still, to me, the purpose of music is to bring joy, to share, to inspire. And this just does, as, does just as good a job as my big accordion. So if I have a musical idea that I want to have, it's a lot easier for me to pick this up and say... <laughs> This is like having a piece of paper, a little notepad accessible to jot down ideas. Am I going to be performing in a concert hall with this? No. But am I going to be jotting ideas and be able to express those ideas quickly with this? Yes. Easy peasy. I wear it. I could be standing up. I could be sitting down. <laughs> It's a beautiful instrument. It's not as precious. It's not, it doesn't take as big of a step to pick this up and make music as the other instrument. Anyways, that's all I have to say about this little accordion. Whatever instrument you have, maybe the idea is to have a big accordion, one that's meant for performance, one that almost requires more of you to enter it, um, and have a little and have a little accordion, one that you can put in the car, take to your neighbors, have a separate accordion around the house. That's the luxury of having multiple instruments. So if you're going to get your next accordion, um, maybe make it a small one. And if you have a small accordion, maybe make it a big one. I'd like to thank Martin from, for, from Tempo Trend Music for letting me use this wonderful small Honer accordion. It's for sale. Bye-bye.